Hello friends, in this lesson we will learn how we can use undo commands and other operations. Now you must be knowing that the keyboard shortcut to undo is Ctrl Z. This allows you to undo only the last command. To demonstrate this, let's take a brush and paint. Now let's move this layer a bit. Now try pressing Ctrl Z. You can see that it takes us back and forth that last command. But Photoshop allows you to undo many times. To undo multiple operations, go to History Panel. Go to Windows, History and see. This was my last command move. I used the brush tool. I took a new layer. I opened this file. Now to go to any state, if I go to this state, this will come to this new layer. If I go to this, it will take us to the original state. Let's again go to the move state. This is the last state. Now the number of operations that a History Panel can record depends upon our settings here in history options it has a couple of settings which we will discuss in a later lesson we can also set our undo limit in preferences go to edit preferences and performance here the history state is set to 20 by default but if we have a higher RAM we can increase it I will leave it to 20 if you don't like to go to the history panel again and again to do multiple undos, there is another option in Photoshop. This is the keyboard shortcut called Ctrl Alt Z. If you pr press Ctrl Alt Z a multiple times, it will undo multiple times. You can see this by going to the history panel and if we hit Ctrl Alt Z once it takes us to the upper state and then again it takes to the upper state and then again it takes to the upper state. Every time I am pressing Ctrl Alt Z, it takes us one step up. So remember friends, to undo multiple times, either click Ctrl Alt Z or open the history panel and go to the state you want. That's all for this lesson. See you at the next lesson.